Here we are out at the river. It's almost December and it is a balmy 35 degrees out right now. The odds are against us, but I'm going to test out a secret winter fishing technique. We'll see if it pays off. First up, I'm going to need my net because right now we're hunting for the Helgramite, which is also known as smallmouth candy. And this uh, alien looking insect actually transforms into a creature that looks like it's uh, straight from hell, the Dobson fly. But what we need is the larval form of this creature, which can be found in streams and rivers. Just got to lift up a rock, keep your net underneath, and hope you get lucky. All right, so let's try this rock right here. It's a big looking rock. It's got to be something underneath. Ah, God, it's heavy. Woo! Man, that's a heavy rock. <sighs> Nothing. Keep on moving. Let's try this guy. Ah, the water's freezing. Whoa! Oh, God. I guess. <laughs> Look what we got here, guys. We have a minnow. This looks like some kind of a uh, creek chub minnow. That's a uh, interesting catch right here. I'm not sure what kind of minnow this is, but oh, oh, almost dropped him. All right, let's keep him alive. This is gonna go into the bait jar. All right, check this rock right here. A lot of stuff on the underside of it. Oh my gosh, we have a giant Helgramite right here. Look at that. Look at all these larvae in here. This guy looks like he's uh, hibernating actually. Look at that. Oh, I think he's waking up. I was gonna take him over here and check him out. This is exactly what we need to hopefully catch some big fish today. Oh, he's waking up now. Yeah, I think they're hibernating. The water's absolutely freezing. So they they were in a dormant state. There he is, guys. This alien looking bug. Supposedly, smallies love to gorge on. Oh, this guy's angry. I've heard, you can see, you can see he has pinchers. I heard they can pinch but I don't think they can pinch that hard. Uh, I don't know, they look like they can kind of pinch kind of hard. Okay, 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 he's on my hand. How hard can he pinch? Let's see if he wants to pinch me. Uh, he's just crawling, he's crawling backwards right now. Very interesting motion pattern, kind of like a crawfish, how they move backwards. Definitely not pinching me. All right, he's getting on my sensitive skin, hopefully he doesn't pinch me there. Oh, it's, oh it tickles, okay, get off. All right, I'm just going to put my finger in. We're going to see how hard he can pinch. You ready, guys? I'm Coyote Peterson, and we're about to enter the pinch zone with the Helgramite. Get me. Come here. Fight me. Fight me. Ah! Oh, okay, no, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad, guys. It actually wasn't that bad. It stings, but it's not that bad of a pinch. Let's go ahead and do it again. Here we go. Pinch me. Ow! 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 Ah, he's on me! He's on me! Look at that! Look at that pinching power, guys! Yeah, he's on He's on me right here. Woo! He's not letting go either. He's not letting go. This guy is mean and vicious. We need to, uh... Ow! Ow! He's pinching hard! Ow! Actually kind of hurts a little bit. That actually actually hurts a little bit, right? I'm not gonna lie. That definitely hurts. That definitely does not feel good! Ow! Ow! I think he's going in my skin. He's actually going in my skin right now. Okay, okay. Okay, when you put him down, put him down, put him down. Ow! He's pinching hard! Ow! 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 ow. Oh, he let go. Oh, okay. So you guys can see the, uh, there's a small bite mark on my finger, but he did not break skin. So that is the power of the Helgramite. So what we need to do now is we need to catch about, I don't know, eight more of them, nine more of them. Then, uh, then we're going to do some fishing and see how well they work to catch, uh, catch some bass. Ah, uh, there's got to be something under here. Oh, ah. Uh. My hand's so freaking cold. Oh, it got one. Look at that. Ah, another dormant Helgramite. This one's a lot smaller, but it is what we're looking for. Dang, I, I want to know how cold this freaking water is. My hand feels like it's about to freeze off. I am absolutely freezing out here. So we're going to check the water temperature because every time I dip my hand in, it's actually kind of painful. So let's drop the thermometer right there. Leave it in for 30 seconds and we'll uh, see what the result is. That should be enough time. Yeah, this water is really cold. I'm guessing it's like 44, maybe. Oh, look at that, guys. Do I know my temps or what? I don't know if you guys can read it, but it says 40 
literally 44 degrees if you look on that thermometer right there so that temperature is not the best for fishing but you know it's better than uh better than 32 right i'm gonna be honest with you guys i actually wasn't planning on filming today the reason why i haven't been filming much recently is because i've been on a fishing boot camp that i uh, decided to go on myself because what happened was a little while ago, I was really struggling to catch fish and make good videos. You know, I'd catch fish here and there, but nothing that I thought would be uh, video worthy. So what I decided to do was stop filming, go fishing only, and try out a bunch of different techniques and tactics that uh, I've never done before just to uh, try to become a more well-rounded angler. And this was one of the things that I was gonna do, but what I learned about just yesterday but sadly, one of my subscribers, J Dub Fishing, John Weatherby, he uh, he is no longer with us. So today's video is going to be in tribute of J Dub, who I've only met a couple times. He was in my video ice fishing when he rescued a frozen bass from the uh, from under the ice, which is really awesome. But this video is in tribute to John, who is a really nice, genuine guy. I didn't, uh, I didn't get to spend too much time with him, but from what I could tell is he truly loved the sport and um, it's, just, it's just really sad to think about him no longer being here. So all the fish we catch today, this is for you, John. Ah! Holy crap! What the heck? Look at that, guys. Holy mackerel! I just caught like 20 chubs. What? All into one rock. Look at that. They're freaking stacked. Holy moly. You know what? Oh, I got a Helgramite too. All right, we're done. We are done. I'm going to transfer it to my bigger jar. And uh, it's time to go fishing. <laughs> Spider web. Damn. Right in my mouth. Location change. I just drove an hour from the Patapsco River. Now we got our bait and we're gonna fish the Potomac River. There's a 30 minute hike over here and I'm a little worried about the uh, aliveness of my bait, shall we say. So let me go ahead and cross to the other side and then we're gonna check out my minnows and my helgramites to see, uh, see how they're doing. Backpack. <sighs> Moment of truth. 90 minutes without any fresh water. Uh oh, uh, oh, I think they're alive. Oh no, they look all right. Let's go ahead and give them uh, some fresh water and make sure they're doing all right. Let's pour this water out. <sighs> all right, here you go, guys. Fresh water for you. You should, you should be a little happier after that. All right, let's go check them out now. Nice and revitalized. They're yeah, looking pretty good. Rig number one, here's what I'm running. I've got an eight pound fluorocarbon leader for invisibility attached to a pretty small split shot. Then I have a just normal looking bronze hook at the uh, end of it. So it's a pretty standard split shot rig right here. And the idea is I want my bait to drift naturally with the current. And if a smallie sees it, then I want him to uh, think it's a real easy meal. So now I'm gonna take out the Helgramite and we're gonna see if I can get it on the hook. Yeah, some nice looking specimens in here. Uh, let me try to pick a medium-sized one first. I don't want to pick one of the really big or really small ones yet. Ooh, those minnows are flopping around. These guys make me very nervous. Oh, I always get scared. Shouldn't I shouldn't be though. So where do we hook them? I think I read that you can hook them behind the collar. I'm not a hundred percent sure though. Let's see if I can just hook them. Don't pinch me. Ow! Ow! Oh, God! All right, those guys freaking hurt. That pinch, oh, look at that, he drew blood. Look at that, drew blood right there. So those guys can draw blood on you. All right, screw it. You know what, screw it, just put it right through him. There we go, all right, it's in there. All right, that's as good as it's gonna get right now because I do not want to get pinched again. He's trying to pinch me right now. So we're just gonna, get, we're gonna roll with it. Oh, it's beautiful out here. Look at this. Sometimes the water is uh, too murky or too fast, 
Right now it looks pretty calm, extremely clear. You guys can see right to the bottom. This is beautiful. This is exactly what you want when you're fishing in the winter and the water is, yeah, this water is the same temp as taps go, about 44 degrees. You want nice, clear, calm conditions. And we can experiment, we got time. We got about three hours until it gets dark. So I'll try a couple different rigs. Maybe I'll try a float. Maybe I'll try hooking it in a uh, not so weird looking manner. But for now, let's get our lines wet because you're not gonna catch any fish without getting your line in the water. I think it's too shallow over here, guys. No bites. We're gonna keep moving up the river and look for uh, deeper water. Because uh, just like how you saw those minnows stacked under the rock, if we find deep enough water, there should be a bunch of smallies stacked under there, ready to eat. Whoa! I think I have a bite. Do I have a bite? Do I have one? It's setting the hook! I got one! I got one! Oh my gosh, I got one. I don't know how big it is though. Finally, it's been like two and a half hours. It feels pretty big. All right, I'm fighting the current. Loosen the drag. No! No, 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 no. What the heck? <sighs> Dang. Freaking got off, guys. Well, the first bite's always the most important. So, sucks, but just gotta try again. The problem is I'm running out of Helgram mites. Keep losing them, getting snagged, which is why I'm using the bobber rig now. Let's see, let's see what the uh, inventory is looking like right now. Oh no, we have the big Helgram mite and the couple little ones right here. All right, I'm going for the big one. Here we go, guys. It's now or never, I guess. Slide the hook under his collar and push it out. All right, that should be about perfect right here. Here we go. Two hours of fishing, we've got like one hour left. Finally got a bite right next to this uh, fast moving water in that slack, deeper area. That's where we got the hit. Pretty standard. Let's see if we can replicate it. Oh, that may have been a hit. That might be a hit. Bobber's gone. Oh, there's a fish on. There we go. Set the hook, set the hook, set the hook. That's, oh, there's number one, the Helgramite. It's a good fish. It's a good fish, guys. All right, we got to fight the current. Ah. Okay. Oh, we got him. Oh, wait, it's a little dude. <laughs> the current literally made him feel like he was uh, like a four pounder or something. Well, that's a cute little uh, first fish on the Helgramite. Hey, they catch stuff. That's the good news. Okay, and hook slides right out. Perfect hook set. Examine this guy. Yeah, not, not bad. He's freezing cold. All right, buddy, I'm gonna let you go. Well, now we have a dilemma on our hands. I believe I'm out of Helgramites now. It's minute of time. These guys are looking very healthy. It'll be interesting to see if uh, they can do better than the small Helgramites. The big, the big Helgramites actually were doing pretty well. Let's grab the first one I see. Right through the lip. That should be perfect. And this looks like, oh, this guy's this guy's feisty. This looks like a creek chub, I'd say. Well, this bait's a little different than the Helgramite. I only have a limited number of casts before it dies. So I'll gently lob it out there. That should be about perfect. And hopefully I can fish it in the same spot for at least a couple minutes. Yeah, it's staying still, which is good. This is good. I have a good feeling about the creek chub. Oh, that's a bite, that's a bite. That was a bite. I'll let him eat it. All right, here we go. Oh. No! Wait. Oh, wait. Do I have him? Oh, wait. I still got him. I still got him. I messed up, but I still got him. I still has a big one. Oh, this one's bigger. Oh. No, it's stuck in the tree. Okay. Keep the tension. Keep the tension. Oh, here we go. Oh, this one's better, guys. I'm pretty confident. First cast with the dang creek chub. We found him. We found the bass. Woo! Let's see what we got here. What do we got? Oh! Uh, yeah, it's a little bigger. I mean, guys, these are river smallies, so we're not catching 10 pound monsters out of here. We're catching some nice, feisty, you know, I like to call them, uh, I like to call them one pound monsters. That's what we'll call them today. Ah, gotcha. Woo! Well, we found them. We found them stacked. 
You know, if you're catching multiple healthy fish in late November, almost December, I'd call that a good day. Perfect hook set. These gammy bait holder hooks doing their job. He actually feels pretty thick. Feels like there's something in his belly. Uh, no, no evidence of food though. Let's go ahead and let him go. All right, buddy. Off you go. Back into the, uh, yeah, this is, it's cold. Ah, this water's freezing. It's getting real cold out here. I made the mistake of thinking that it'd be relatively warm out here uh, since the sun was up, but the trees are completely blocked in the sun. It's windy and uh, this water is freezing, but you know, every time you catch a fish, there's no better way to warm yourself up than that. Ooh, we got a giant minnow in here. We have one giant and then one pretty large size minnow in here. We'll, we'll grab the large size. Oh, I can't drop them though. If I drop them, I'd be so mad. All right, let's get a big one. Look at this guy. This is a nice looking, look, this is like a perfect size chub right here. And he pooped on me too. Nice. Or is that, a, is that a parasite? Oh, it's a leech. Oh, he's a leech on him. Look at this guy on my finger. This may be a leech. Or is it poop? I can't tell. Hold on. Oh, no, that's poop. That was not a leech, guys. That's definitely poop. My bad. Let's try to let's try to get a bigger fish than the last one. That'll be the goal. Honestly, I'm happy with anything this time of year. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Oh, he took it. He nailed it. All right, let me get a feel for it before I set the hook. He absolutely slammed it. This might be a big fish, guys. He's, yep, there we go. There we go. He's on. He's on. All right. Not a bit. Not a big fish, but ah, we'll take it. Oh, ah, he's bigger. No, he's bigger. He's definitely fatter than the other ones. Here we go. Come here, big mama. That bobber literally darted under. Whew. This is a nice fish right here. Come here. Woo. All right. Final bait, final fish. Every hook set right in the corner of the mouth, right where it should be, and the hook pops out. You gotta make sure you keep the pressure on them. Oh, no, oh, this is actually the exact same size as all the other ones, but different markings, so it's a different fish. Oh, not a bad day. Not a bad day to test out the Helga mites and the Creek Chubs were a added bonus that I happened to catch. It's good stuff. All right, guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned because I've got some uh, artificial winter tactics I'm going to show you guys and I think you're going to like it. If I stick my hand, I'm going to... I'll throw another hole. Oh, he got Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Oh, Through the got... ice. Okay, okay, okay. Teamwork. Now J Dub, it's all J Dub. J Dub, J Dub. Don't lose. Just don't J Dub, J Dub. No. J -Dub. What the heck? What the heck, dude? Wait, 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 wait. wait ooh. Come back. Give a back. Suicidal. Oh, we got a lot of holes to work with here. We got a lot of holes to work with. He's coming. He's coming. Oh. Oh, he got him! He got him! He got him! <laughs> got it! <laughs> Woo! Oh, from the ice! Oh. Noodling large bass <laughs> from the freaking ice! Oh, and everyone, man. for the record, this is J-Dub's first time ice fishing and his first ever fish catch. Bro, oh, <laughs> that is man. nuts.